Here in the next few slides are some examples of uh, uh, projects that we've been called in on. This uh, picture, you can see the, the busted out dam. This was the Gillespie Dam failure in Maricopa, Arizona. There was a flood in the Gila River uh, back in the early 90s. Uh, water uh, pushed through the dam at about 200,000 cubic feet per second. Uh, that's a lot of 5,700 cubic meters per second. It knocked out the center section of the dam. And that dam was designed to hold back water for irrigation canals that would then flood into most of all of southwest Arizona. When the dam broke, there was no way to gravity flow into the irrigation canals, and the farmers uh, suffered from it. We were called. We brought in several of our large 24-inch pumps, put them in uh, with uh, electric motors, and uh, began to operate downstream from the dam and resupply the irrigation canal so that farmers had the water that they needed to continue their operation. Uh, we have found, working with the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers and construction uh, companies, that these pumps are excellent for river bypass operations, construction dewatering, emergency pumping stations for dams and municipalities that have low levels due to drought and need to get water out of a lake or a reservoir into a pipeline or canal to feed municipal water supplies. They're portable, you back them in, you anchor them, you hook up the power supply, and you begin resupplying water. Very versatile, very uh, uh, important in times of water shortages and, and drought. Here's an example uh, of high solids. Uh, we said we work in the oil field, we work in construction, we work in environmental cleanup. We have a customer in uh, Weeks Environmental in Katarina, Texas, that's cleaning up uh, mud pits. And you can read the testimonial there to yourself. Uh, but we're very pleased that f for what he used to do before he met us, uh, he, used to he used to have three pieces of machinery and three operators doing what can be done now with one gator pump and one operator who comes occasionally to check on the pump and make sure it's greased, as I had said. Uh, this is a picture of 12-pound drilling mud. Yeah, this is a pretty heavy consistency with lots of chunks and solids in it. The pump is virtually indestructible. Whatever it can't grind up and push up the discharge pipe will just bump against it until it bumps out of the way. If there are big pieces of debris that can clog a pump, and the pump can't pass it, well, we screen the intake to keep them out. It's a, it's a very impressive piece of equipment. One great partnership that we've had has been with Williams Fire and Hazard Control, which is a subdivision of Tyco International's Fire Protection uh, Products Group. Uh, we've been working with Tyco since, uh, or with Williams Fire and providing equipment that has uh, been marketed under Tyco since 2007. Um, this red pump in the foreground is marketed as an enhancer. It's a high volume feed that feeds the high pressure nozzle unit that you can see in the background. Uh, this piece of equipment is served well in petrochemical plants. Uh, we've uh, put them in airport uh, firefighting uh, facilities as far away as Schiffel Airport in Amsterdam, and we were pleased to receive this endorsement from Tyco Fire Protection Products uh, about how pleased they are and how flawlessly the pump is performed, and uh, they uh, they see us as a, a worldwide partner in, in their business effort. Uh, also important to note is we get a lot of welding uh, contracts from them on other units. They need manifolds. They need uh, pieces of equipment fabricated to go into other of their products. You know, when your welders and your machinists are so well recognized and considered that you can become a subcontractor for a large prime like Tyco, it takes, we take great pride in that 
knowing that the consistency and the quality of our product and our process is so widely regarded.